I'm going to go over a little bit about the self-defense bioman because there were some questions about what to do with this or how to proceed. So I am clicking on the activity. There are a lot of instructions here and examples. So it's really important that you read all of these. And when you're ready, after you've read the instructions and you also open up what I attached here for you, which was the, um, the notes page, or excuse me, not the notes page, the um, document, I think it will make a lot more sense to you. So what you're gonna do is click on the link and open up your Google Doc. So I'm clicking on the link and I also opened up the Google Doc. Your Google Doc will be something that gives you directions and you can fill it out to help you to make sure you're paying attention. When you go to the actual website, the Bioman website, you can click on cell defense if it doesn't load up right away, but I put a picture of what it will look like on the actual handout. So this is your game. If you're coming back to this, you're gonna click here, but most of us are starting a brand new game. So we're gonna start with that. There are five different levels and you need to start at the top. At any time, you can go to your score sheet, and see where you are and when you turn it in all of these should be done and there's actually a picture of that in the directions that i gave you so we're going to go back to the main menu at any time when you get to the end of one of these sections you can save it and the directions for that are also on the handout the important thing with this as i said in the directions is that you read everything if you just click spacebar and you move to the next thing without reading, you will not know what to do. And then it will literally sit there and you will have to go back through it and start all over again. Once you've read it, then you can make sure that you understand it and hit the spacebar and you are ready to go. So again, read this before you hit, I understand, because once it's gone, you can't go back unless you start again. And then now you have to have read the directions in order to know what to do next. And the, the direction said to make the membrane here. And you can flip it. So you can make your membrane and you're going to keep doing this till you get to the very end and it will tell you it knows when that happens. When you finish making your membrane, you're going to click on my membrane is ready. And then it will let you move to the next step. You will keep adding things to this one at a time by reading what it's asking you to do, clicking I understand, and then actually adding different things to the membrane. Again, if you do not do this, if you don't read before you do it, or if you don't do it correctly, it will take off points. So you're gonna have to make sure you read directions or you're gonna keep having to start over again. You'll be adding cholesterol molecules, channel proteins for facilitated diffusion and carrier, protein. carrier proteins to make active transport happen. So in active transport, you'll notice an ATP molecule or energy molecule will be needed. Again, all of these are in the directions, but you have to make sure you read and you follow the directions. The last thing in the first level is the carbohydrate and that's what helps recognize foreign invaders. So when you get to that, you will be able to finish with the first level. Notice that the first level is complete. So far I have 100%, I got five correct. I would save my game here by putting my first and last name and then click here and putting my school email address. And that way, when I come back, I can start with the second one. If you do not save it, it will make you start from the beginning. I hope this helps.